So we talk about colour earlier. Now this piece here still holds its colour and it holds its colour really, really well. And what it is, it's an 18th century, possibly Italian, domed lidded tea caddy or tea canister. And what's so lovely about it, it's all decorated in what we call the chinoiserie manner. And when we look at it closely, um, being that it's what's known as ivory ground, um, originally it would have been almost white, but the, over the years, it's, um, this is what we call patination. So it's slightly off, off white. If we look here, you can see this lovely like, peony and then we come to the centre and we have like a flower bed and then to the right here we have two people, um, one of them's carrying a, um, a parasol and they're viewing the garden, let's say. Now I'm just going to lift it off the mantelpiece here and just show you how exquisite this item is. To one end we have this, I think you might call it a sea surgeon. Uh, whether it's a, myth, a mythological creature or something they saw or heard of and this is their interpretation of of a dolphin and again we've got a flower bed and the different flowers look how exquisite this flower is here isn't that wonderful so simple almost quite primitive um, the back you have this baluster shaped jar again with um, flowers and in the centre here, where you've got this flower bed, you can see it looks as though there's a, 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 a lake and you've got a vista or avenue of trees coming down to one side. And I can't quite make out whether that there's a property at the end. So it's um, telling a story that whoever owned this, that they are incredibly wealthy because it just so much is being said and this is at the back of the item not in the front so they're not trying to be too um, brash again to the um, left we have another vase um, and again beautifully decorated with all the flowers cascading from the from the top but what holds this together is this pillar box red decoration it's so loud and it just pulls the whole thing together as one. And then when we come round to the the one another the other end, um, it's initialed. And again, this could have been in the front, but the family who owned this, I think they were being understated. And apparently in um, Italy, there is a, a very famous family in Venice and this could be connected to this Venetian family. Um, and I'm quite sure this is um, possibly from there. Again, the top, beautifully decorated again. We have um, some sort of peacock. Can you see the little crown of feathers on the top of his head here? And then look how delicate the flowers are painted. In places it's really crude, and other places it's particularly fine. And because you've got this culmination of different things come together, the whole thing holds together really, really well. In the centre, you've got this um, swan neck um, handle. See, originally this would have been gilded, and being gilded, it would have been gold or gold colour. And so that would have sat really, really well. But over the years where it's been handled and the, the gilt um, decorations come off. But again, there's another vista there. It's quite difficult to work out where that is. But again, it echoes what's on, on the back. Now, when we get inside of it, again, it gets even more interesting because this would have sat on the table and it's the ultimate state, status symbol. Um, it's a piece of of the Orient, a piece of chinoiserie. This um, the colours are fantastic, and so inside you have your prize, which is the tea. You you've been invited to somebody's house, and you're going to take tea. And what we find inside, we find the original canisters. But before we go and look at the canisters, look at this colour, this paper. It's commonly known as sugar paper 
and you see it in various colours um, lining the interiors of drawers or little boxes. But what I find interesting is why have they put it on the inside of the domed lid? Because when we pull it off, can you see this blue here? But when we pull it off, because it's very, very delicate, we can see the original decoration underneath, which is this vibrant blue. And then it's got this gold over the top. So why is it there? I've got no idea. And let's just push that back. These are the original canisters or caddies. And these caddies would have held, let's say, your, your green tea, your jasmine tea. And then we have another one here. Now, some people say when they were measuring tea, they would have poured the tea into, one, into the lid, let's say, and measured it that way. I don't know. Some people say that and some people say not. The centre one, again, was it used for sugar or was it used for blending the two teas together? The domed lid. Now we can see again the sugar paper, but because the canisters have been in and out, it takes on a different colour. So it looks quite worn in there. So that's why I haven't removed that. I've kept it as it is because it looks quite comfortable, even though it looks a little bit um, scruffy. In some cases, you'll find on the very good caddies like this, uh, the interiors are solid silver. But these, it doesn't detract that they're only um, metal but they are original and that's what's really really important of having things which are in original condition so this is 18th century in my opinion it's italian made around about the 1750s when tea was at its height it was so fashionable incredibly expensive so if anyone who collects tea caddies or loves chinoiserie decoration you don't get much better than that it's a really, really interesting piece and I love it.